Hey guys, thank you all so, so much for leaving us all your questions and comments below on our YouTube page and on our Instagram uh, photo. Max and I, again, are overwhelmed with the amount of questions we received. We were only allowed to take them within the first 24 hours because we needed the time to be able to film this before I leave. Yeah, we were worried we weren't going to get enough questions and we ended up having over 200 guys, so that is insane. Yeah. Um, some of you were a bit cheeky and did like three different questions <laughs> on your one. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to answer every single question because it's just not doable, but we're answering we the, the most popular ones. Yeah, the most common ones. Times. Um, and because there are so many questions, we're going to actually do four Q&A videos, mm -hmm. one every couple of days this week, okay guys? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be split up into sections. The first one we're doing today is about Lee and I. Yeah, just because there's so many new people joining us in our community here, we want to reintroduce ourselves and uh, answer the questions that you have for us. Um, the next video is going to be all van related and the one after that is going to be all Aki related because there's a lot of questions about Aki yep. and then the final line will be from a female's perspective any questions that people have been asking me as a female in the van or in general. Alrighty. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, first, I just like to reintroduce myself. My name's Lee. I am 25 years old. I'm from Barrie, Ontario in Canada. I'm Max. I'm from Wangratta, Victoria, Australia. And I'm this, 29 years old. Oh, sorry. I'm 29 years old. And this is Oki. He's seven years this old. Oh, yeah. This is Oki. He's seven years old. He's from Encounter Bay, South Australia, Australia. All right. Let's get started. Go for it. What visas did Max have to get and did Lee need any as well? Uh, I can answer my visa one. Sure. So I had to get a Canadian working visa because before we left on the trip we spent you know a good amount of time converting the van and everything i had to work there so i had to get a two-year working visa the process for an australian getting a canadian working visa is there's a lot of paperwork involved but the it's not that hard it's probably a few hours worth of work and the fact they give you two years straight up i think it's really good and mm -hmm. canada if you want to give me more visas go for it yeah. that'd be great and then since starting on our trip um being canadian i was allowed into the six months of travel or i was allowed into the u.s for six months of travel max can only go for three months yep. um in mexico we got, were granted a six month visa each in belize we were granted 30 days but we could have extended if we wanted more uh, in Guatemala, between Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua, we think you get 90 days yeah. between we, them. We're, we're not 100% sure on the last yeah. one, so don't quote us. <laughs> yeah. We're just kind of figuring it out as we go, and there hasn't been issues so far with mm -hmm. coming down. Um, why don't you both work? Why only Lee? So this is a question I don't know if we just didn't really cover enough in our um, Lee leaving video. Mm -hmm. We're not really used to sort of having to explain ourselves on social media, so maybe we didn't explain it well enough. But essentially, there's a few reasons why only Lee's going home. The biggest one would be Oki. It's just not worth flying Oki home only for a couple of months. For starters, mm -hmm. there's potential stress on him, and for such a short period, it's not worth it. Yeah. Secondly, it's expensive to fly a dog, mm -hmm. and if the whole point of going back to Canada is to make more money, yeah. it's kind of counterintuitive to spend yeah. money flying him. Plus, I'd say from my point of view, like we, again, decided this before we started our YouTube channel, it was a good time to stop home and visit family and friends. Yeah. I have a job lined up that I used to work at already, so I just jump right back into the schedule, um, and I know how much money I can probably make and it's my family that I can stay with for free so it just makes sense for me to go back and yes I could try to attain a job down here but I'm not gonna make anywhere near the same amount of money so for us it was a small sacrifice and it seemed it was a smart decision to us at the time and yeah yeah so. and so in terms of whether I can get work down here while Lee's away me and Oki are going to be searching for a boat that will take us sailing and we we essentially want to learn to sail we're happy to provide labor for that and Oki's a hard worker so if there's someone willing to allow me and Oki on the boat in yeah. Central America let us know. And one more thing on that topic, Max did offer to share his money with me. I don't feel comfortable with that. My parents have raised me to be strong and independent and to work for myself and in 2018 I don't think that the man should provide in a relationship and I'm happier to make money to have in my bank account and one day yes we may join assets eventually but as for now we are both paying for everything out of our own pockets and that is how we like it so respect <laughs> all right do you ask yourself what will you do back home and will you be able to live a normal life that is a good question um someone else left a comment on our feed saying that they were interested in how my perspective would have changed now living at home 
after living in a van for this amount of time and I don't know if we'd be able to go back to a normal life and I don't think normal life these days is constrained to the traditional style of living such as living in one place for your entire life and, and working at one career. I think we are allowed to have multiple careers and we can really get creative on how to make money and where to live and, and, and how to live our lives that don't need to be by any sort of rule book that yeah. is outdated. I think the American dream of the big house and the white picket fence is changing for yeah, our generation. Our generation is realizing that we don't need to... Um, All those we don't assets. need to own so many things to be happy. We can we can own less yeah. and see more of the world. Okay, is it hard to find a healthy life balance while traveling for so long, are you, or are you constantly in vacation mode? I think we found it definitely a bit of an adjustment when we first set off on the road. I part of that was because we worked so hard in the last couple of months with saving and the conversion that we needed a vacation, mm -hmm. but you quickly come to realize that this is just leading on from that. This is becoming your normal life. And it's not like a one week trip where you can splurge every day yeah. and eat really bad and not exercise because yeah. you, you need to keep a healthy sort of lifestyle. And so, mm -hmm. and so you just get into routines of doing exercise and, yeah. and eating well. And in saying that, I think it's kind of been like a flow of depending on where we are at what time and who we meet. Because there's been times where we've met really great people and we've spent a couple of weeks on a free beach and really just enjoy the moment and felt more like in vacation mode at that time. Yeah. Other times we're in cities, we need to get work done, we're doing laundry, we're filling water, we're working on the van. Um, but yeah, we both feel that living healthier has been the best balance for us because then we have more energy to get outside and do everything in the daytime. Favorite place we've been together? I think Oki just tooted. Uh, favorite place we've been together? I would say, I think our favorite place, well, we talked about it, our favorite place is Vietnam together. It was our first backpack solo, just the two of us, and it was the first time we really realized that we traveled very well together, and in, in a couple of weeks time, we went from the north of the country to the south. To do that, we took a couple overnight trains, we took a flight, we saw everything we wanted to see in a short period of time which made us realize like we were pretty good partners in that sense yeah it was unreal um do you have a fitness routine we on the trip we haven't really had much of a routine because i think we spend so much time outside and we're generally either hiking or surfing or swimming or you know exploring a city that it generally involves a lot of walking and carrying a backpack and everything yeah that we've found that we've kind of been able to maintain a good level of fitness yeah just from naturally hiking yeah. and from surfing and yeah but when we were back home we had definitely had more of a fitness routine and lee especially had one so <laughs> i yeah. did especially have one well you had one more than i did okay yeah and we like to play squash at home with my whole family is involved in squash so that's a good way to stay in shape uh do you have a blog no, we do not have a blog as of yet. Right not now, yet. we are just on YouTube and Instagram. But when I go home, my best friend and I are going to work together to create a blog because Max and I have a lot of information that we want to share with you and that we just can't get across in videos. So stay tuned. What is your number one tip on how to stay positive and spread positivity? Uh, I, I think for me, it would be... I, I don't know whether I've also just been lucky in life, but I feel like... If you stay positive, things generally tend to work out. Whereas if you do kind of dwell on the negatives, then sometimes it doesn't work that way. So it's all kind of about your mindset. And I think on my end, um, when you're in a tiny space and you're constantly with another person, you really have to not let your own emotions reflect onto the next person beside you because it's unfair to Max Naki if I'm moody today and I'm just letting all my emotions out to them. Sometimes I just have to take a step back and let it come go through myself without projecting my negativity on them and that because that just then fosters like him getting mad at me and then me getting mad at him so if i let that go yeah yeah max doesn't really he's never really negative um how many countries have you been to i counted the other day and i think it's 11 i think i've been to 11 countries now i've been to 32 and oki has been to six yes and with Lee going home and Aki going through El Salvador and Nicaragua uh, and Honduras. Aki might catch up to me. Aki's catching up to Lee. Crazy. Thank you. When are you going to... <laughs> yeah. I... 
when are you going to make an honest woman out of her, Max? I know who sent this question in. It's Alan from Queensland, Australia. He has asked me this a few times. He's really putting me on the spot. Um, I think Leah already is an honest woman. We're in a committed relationship. We're very happy with where we are. Mm. For In terms of the future, you know, who knows when things can change, but we're, we're not in any rush at the moment. <laughs> All right. Have you thought about getting a remote job or can you use the skills you already have to, tra uh, to work while you're traveling? We have considered working remotely. In fact, before we left on our trip, we did picture both of us stopping somewhere for a month or so and doing a work mm. exchange or just slowing down our pace and getting involved more with communities. Um, this decision to go home um, was again mainly for the numbers and to see my family was because I, I knew how much money I could make in a short period of time and visit family. But as for skills, like I've always worked hospitality, therefore I could work a hospitality job down mm. here, but probably not legally, so I'd yeah, and also I, the sure. the amount of pay. Like a we have met a lot of people on the road that work down here, but most of them just work in exchange for food, yeah. and, food and board. Which going forward, one day we will start doing that as well. If we yeah. love a place, then yes, we'll we'll clean the hostel. We'll get a hostel, but yeah. I mean to have a place to park and use a washroom, like we can yeah. we can do some work. For and that. paramedics isn't really um, something that I can transfer across very easily, yeah. just for a couple of days or a month or anything. Mm -hmm. In saying that, Max, do you miss being a paramedic? Will you return to it one day? I do definitely miss certain aspects of paramedics. The I had a really good social network with my group of friends, the paramedics in Geelong. Um, I surfed with them pretty much every day off and around my shifts. The job itself, I loved the lack of monotony in the job. It was always, you know, something different. But there was things that I certainly didn't like about the job. It had 14-hour night shifts. I don't think shift work is good for your body in the long run. Mm -hmm. So whether I'll return to it is completely an unknown at this stage. And I think that just completely depends with how life goes. At this stage, our futures are unknown and we're kind of excited by that. Yeah. Um, what food items do you miss the most and do you ever splurge on anything while out? Um, I think both of our items are very cliche. Yeah. Uh, we recently just ran out of our Canadian pure maple syrup, which is like the staple onto our overnight oats that we showed you in our Dana Life video. Um, and you just can't find the same down here, even mm. if it tries to say it's real Canadian maple syrup, it just doesn't have the same taste. Yeah, and for me, it's definitely Vegemite. The I brought a big tub over to Canada when I moved over there. I ran out, I spent $11 on this mm. small tub I found in um, Vancouver Island. And recently, a couple of months ago, I ran out. Mum tried to bring me over some more from Hawaii, and U.S. Customs wouldn't let me no, take it on the plane. I just couldn't understand the yeah. need for the Vegemite. So if <laughs> any Australian, or anyone for that matter, that has their hands on some Vegemite is in my area at any time, I will pay good money for it. So please, happy to do so. Okay. How did you meet? How long until you started a relationship? Well, we actually met in a not so traditional way which I guess meets our not matches our not so traditional lifestyle now but we a are a tinder success story Lee was on her working holiday visa in Australia from Canada and her sister actually was playing around Sasha who you've met was mm. playing around on her tinder and swiped yes to me and yeah. The rest is history, I think, yeah, really. Yeah, so Sasha is the matchmaker in this relationship. Thank you, Sasha. <laughs> and, yeah, right away we started planning uh, hiking, overnight hiking trips, camping trips, road trips, and each week we were planning our days off together. And within a couple of months, it was undeniable that we wanted to continue going. And Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, do you get annoyed by anything the other one does? Well, yes, definitely. Um... We are humans and we live in a 60 square foot vehicle together, so I think mm -hmm. you'd feel so that way about something if you lived in a house or lived in a small space. I think for Max, like my biggest annoyance is I like things being put away in the van because it's such a small space and sometimes he just likes to leave his things around and Aki does too. Aki just leaves his balls around outside. We've unfortunately lost a couple because he doesn't bring them back, doesn't know how to put his toys back in his toy bucket. Yeah. Um, for Lee... She's pretty good. She she puts my stuff away in places I don't know where they are. 
<laughs> and also just cracking knuckles i it, it gets me her cracking her knuckles and it's a habit she just doesn't doesn't seem to be able to shake or want to i have shaken it quite a lot i barely do it now how easy is it to find vegan food while traveling do you tend to cook most meals I'm going to answer this in reverse order. In terms of do we tend to cook most meals, yes. Not lately, because if you've been following along, our fridge has been broken and we've hopefully got this fixed by now. But otherwise, we definitely cooked most of our meals, especially in Canada and the US, because it just wasn't feasible or affordable to be able to eat out. Which, in saying that, Canada and the US was where most of the vegan food was available. There's definitely a shift towards that sort of happening everywhere. And then going through Mexico and Central America, there's definitely certain pockets where there's a lot of really good vegan food available, like Oaxaca, Mexico, um, Mexico, City. Mexico City, Guatemala, we're actually finding in a few places yeah. there's some really good food. More of the larger cities and tourist areas will have vegan options. Um, yeah. However, street food generally does not have vegan and often it's even hard to find vegetarian. Um, and therefore, when you're paying in restaurants, again, it's more expensive. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you guys mainly plant-based now and why mainly? So yes, we say that we're mainly plant-based and that's because we don't like to label how we're eating. Um, although plant-based and vegan would be the best way to represent how we like to eat, we are humans and we're not perfect and it's been about a year now since we've started eating this way and the main factors for us are that we feel incredible, we feel the best when we're eating plant-based diet. Um, it aligns with our morals and our values and overall it's what works for us and a big thing with that is I think anybody out there who is trying to make changes to their own diet or who wants to steer towards veganism or vegetarianism um, don't worry about being perfect don't worry about always sticking strictly to the um, outline of, of veganism or vegetarianism yeah. because you know, making conscious decisions every day is impactful and that makes a difference and moving towards a goal is great and that's how we feel we are, so we're always moving towards a goal and... Yeah, and we don't berate ourselves if we slip up every now and then and, you know, having goat's cheese in a salad or something. We're, mm. you know, we're yeah. happy with how we eat and I think that's the main thing. Yeah. Okay, thoughts on an international relationship? Well... <sighs> We obviously are in one and are enjoying it, but with an international relationship definitely comes things to think about, um, especially, you know, some people could be international, it could be Canada and the US, and it's really not such a big deal. Canada to Australia being on the opposite sides of the world, um, it is, it, in some, sometimes it's hard on our families. I think when, when I moved over to Canada, my mum teared up a little bit because she was worried maybe I'd never come back. Yeah, um, and vice versa. Like it's, it's It definitely adds complications, but in saying that, if a relationship is a great relationship, then it's going to play out how it should, and this goes on to the what we said earlier, just don't stress about things that you can't, can't change, or you have no control over. And yeah. I mean, we obviously have control if we want to be in this relationship, and we're so happy that yeah. we're making it work. And, you know, Max's family, we saw Max's family on this trip. My parents came in January, and my sister came back again just recently in her Belize video. So yeah. we're so fortunate that we're making it work, and we're seeing our families. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Max, what hair products do you use because your curls look very healthy? So we had a pretty good chuckle when we read this comment. Mainly because I don't use any products. I also rarely ever shampoo and condition. Um, I think for my hair, the key's just been getting in the salt water all the time. It keeps it pretty healthy. Yeah. Um, it might be a surprise to some people, but this is the first time I've ever had long hair. When I was working back at home, I kept my hair short and tried to keep keep it looking a little bit more professional. I also didn't have a nose ring, so yeah, I'm a little bit different than how I was. Um, in saying that, I have been really surprised at the amount of discrimination people get with long hair. We've had quite a few, I've had quite a few comments about it. I don't see why it's such a big deal, you know, like 90% of girls have long hair and they don't get discriminated by it, but anyway, next topic. All right. Where do you see yourselves in one, five, and ten years? 
That is an extremely difficult question, especially because Max and I aren't huge planners into the future. No. Um, again, we planned our first trip to be Canada to Panama one year, and we just decided we're going to keep going longer. Um, therefore, we really don't have much planned within past the next year, and I think it's really hard to have a concrete plan in one, five, and ten if you're not working into a career where you can actually see the logistics of how those years are going to play out. Yeah. Um, at least for one in five, I'd like to see ourselves still, still traveling. traveling yeah. yeah, and I think that we both like a bit of the unknown. We like that uncertainty of that, you know, even if you have a five, ten year plan, it doesn't necessarily go to plan, and we just more like kind of going with the flow and figuring it out as we go. Yeah. Okay, we have four more questions, guys. Mm. So, how did you make the first step into YouTube? That's a great question, and if you don't already know, we are here because of four individuals, two couples, Beck Amon and the Minimal Millennials, Christian and Aubrey. Both of them are YouTubers. They've been around for at least a year, if not longer, and they both have awesome pages. If you guys enjoy following us, you if you don't already, you would love to follow them. Um, we were lucky enough to meet them in Oaxaca, Mexico, um, and we got to spend five or so amazing days together yeah. and we really just fed off their energy and loved being around them all and you know they they joked us into getting a YouTube and by the end Aubrey was like okay guys I'm filming your trailer intro I'm I'm taking your photos for you I'm setting you up a page and they were the first like really big positive encouragement that we had to do this channel and if it wasn't for them we probably wouldn't be here so yeah we definitely guys, thank you we definitely wouldn't have made a channel if it wasn't for them yeah we, although we'd use YouTube a lot, we were definitely not as involved in the whole YouTube yeah, world. Yeah, we didn't even really understand that you could subscribe to channels, yep. and we never followed because we've been we've really been yeah. traveling and working travel for the yep. last few years, so we just haven't really been as involved. We're across it now, and thank yeah. you guys for getting us in. Yeah, so again, Beck Eamon, Christian Aubrey, we owe it all to you guys. Okay. How do you communicate with locals? Do you speak Spanish? Can you get around without knowing the local language? Mm -hmm. uh, so, we do communicate with the locals. We speak a little bit of Spanish. We are learning. It's definitely not as far along as we'd like it to be. Mm -hmm. One of the things I'm going to do while Lee's gone is actually attend some Spanish school mm -hmm. um, to try and improve that. Whether you can communicate without speaking a word of Spanish, you definitely can. Um, Especially nowadays with all the apps, with Google Translate, yeah. with Duolingo, with Google Maps, like you can get around very easily. Well, yeah. not easily. You can get yeah. around with us speaking language, but, but learn the basics. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In saying that, you're not going to be as immersed in the culture because you're not even going to be able to have basic conversations with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And the, I just think the basics are so important no matter where you go. You know, mm -hmm. when we went to Vietnam, we didn't learn Vietnamese. But we did learn how to say please and thank you and, you know, the respectful things mm -hmm. that you can show that you are still showing respect to their culture. Yeah. And I think that's most important. And if, you can, if you're going to be around somewhere long enough, give it a shot. Try and learn the language. Yeah. All right, two more. Do you plan on having children? If so, how many? Well, um, yes, we've talked about it in the future, but that is... A long, long, long time ago from now, um, or time, time away, away from, from now. now. Um, I guess we've talked about maybe having two if we had kids, but again, we're just so not in yeah. that mindset. That's a long way off. At all, that I really can't give you a good yeah. answer to that Lucky's one. enough of a child yeah. for us. All right. Okay, lucky last. Have you ever been in a distance relationship? Have you talked about how it worked? Um, neither of us have really been in a distance relationship before, but a couple of, or sorry, a year and a half ago, I did fly home from Canada to Australia for two months because I had to do work in Australia and Lee was working hard in Canada to save for the trip. Mm. We found, although yes, it sucked and we hated being apart, mm. the time still went quite quickly as we were both working so hard and we're working towards a goal, mm -hmm. just like we will be this time. Um, yeah, we yeah. think time's going to fly by because we have so much that we're working on and we're working together and it's, yeah, we have that shared common goal to get back together and to keep traveling, so. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, and I think thanks to, you know, the beauty of the internet, we can, we yeah. can keep in contact pretty yeah. regularly. 
So uh, one more time, thank you guys so much. We hope that got you um, answered your questions and we're able for you guys to get to know us a little bit more. Um, again, we had a cut off, I think at 1255 of the day after we posted our video. So just shy of 24 yeah. hours because we were running out of time to get this film for so you. So sorry if we didn't get to your questions. Yeah, because... and in the future we can do another one eventually. Yeah. And... But stay tuned, in a couple of days we'll be releasing our next one, yeah. which will be... All anything van related. So. All van related, yeah. van life related and content. And I think that is, there's about 40, there's 50 questions in that one. These were about yeah. 35, so. Yeah. All right, stay see tuned. you then.